Welcome back to Nick Lange's Comic Corner, classic slash non-classic. This is episode number 567, double shot number 471. Two Deadpool trades. First up it is Deadpool, world's greatest, volume 9, Deadpool in space. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Collecting Deadpool, volume 4, issue 30, and Deadpool, the secret comic variants. Written by Gary Duggan, and I think the other, I think it's Scott Kubelish who does this, right? Uh, no. Yeah, the co-writer is no longer in here. Um, yeah. Mike Hawthorne does the artwork. Yeah. When, when I saw this trade, I'm like, okay, Deadpool in space. Okay, is it going to collect more than just one issue? It's collecting one issue. No, this is not the first time Marvel's done this for the particular series. They did this also for, believe it or not, they did this also for End of an Error and Deadpool vs. Sabretooth. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they did this for like three volumes in a row and they collect like one or two issues and that's it. I'm like, dude, Marvel, are you really lazy at putting books into trade? You're just really wanting to stretch this out to like almost 10 volumes, which basically the next book is 10 volume. Excuse me. The story of this storyline is this. This is simply put a wrap up of most of the stuff that Gary Duggan has been doing on Deadpool at this particular point in time. This character, uh, Scott Kennish, who does pop up in Guardians, he quits his job with S.H.I.E.L.D., gets transferred to Nova Corps, and is still there this very day. Deadpool decides to go to space to get rid of Madcap. Yeah, that's seriously the reason I went to space. Yeah, it's a fun story, uh, and he also goes to nowhere. First time the, the thing has appeared in outside of a regular cosmic book. And they brought in the Collector, a few Asgardians. One, of course, had been Lady Sif, who accidentally got asked to be in space during a bar fight. They even brought in an obscure character. Let me look up this guy's name here. I know he's an obscure character. I kind of heard of this guy due to seeing him on the cover of Marvel Premiere. So I had a pretty good idea who this guy was. Let's see if I can find him here. Here he is. Mandrick Starstalker. Yeah. Wow, what an obscure villain this guy is. Let me look him up on here because, man, like, if you're reading this, you're like, who the heck is this guy? Yeah. Yeah, for what I know about him, he's a, he's a pretty obscure character. I kind of heard him, but I'm not all that familiar with his work. Let me look up here on Wikipedia, see if I can find him on here. Oh yeah, and there's somebody else pops up in here as well, you're like, okay, didn't expect to see him in here. I'm going to try and find him here by his name. I'm going to type it into Wikipedia. See if we can find more information about this guy. Because, uh, yeah. I'm trying to find his name again. Here we go. Found him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I found him. He doesn't have record like a P page on list of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, he's from an alternate timeline. So 
Yeah, I have no idea why in the world that Duggan brought back a character who only appeared once. Oh, who created this character? Howard Schenken. Yes, I met the guy. He's kind of nasty. He doesn't say he doesn't like a lot of his work, but I do like a lot of his work. Yeah, he created this guy. So, I don't know why in the world Duggan dug this guy up, but, hey. One thing that would have been really nice if the trade actually did this, how about putting here the guy's first appearance? Because if you just read this trade and you see this guy, Mondrake Starkiller, Starstalker, you're like, who the heck is this guy? Yeah, if you're a new reader, you, you know about Deadpool, obviously. You know about Rocky Raccoon. Yeah, he pops up in here as well, along with Lady of Sif. But Mondrak, Mondark Starstalker. If you see him, you're like, who the heck is this guy and why is he so important? Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, what's the story of why Deadpool's in the bar getting into a bar fight? Well, he claims he has the ultimate nullifier. Yep, and put a bounty on his own head. Well, actually, his old friend did that. Yeah. The whole thing ends with him going back to Earth and sets up stuff for Secret Empire. This was just pure fun. Love it. 9.5 out of 10. Really good sci-fi story. And I should point out, though, not the first time Duggan has done sci-fi stuff. Of course, he was one of the writers of the Sam Alexander Nova series. And he was recently the writer of Guardians. So, And, and he's also doing Infinity Countdown and... Infinity Wars. Yeah. Looking forward to reading that. Next up is Volume 10, Secret Empire, collecting issues 3136. All done by Gary Duggan. Yeah, he's the writer for this thing. Now, there are two artists on here. First, for 3134 and 36, it is Madden Latoy and... Mike Hawthorne Cole does it for 33 and 34. 35 does it by himself. Yeah. Okay. Now, 32 and 36 are tying to Secret Empire storyline. 31 is simply put a setup and prelude. What happens in this issue? Well, Deadpool kills Phil Coulson. Yep. So the comic book version of Phil Coulson is dead. He got shot by Sp uh, Deadpool. Now, as for why he killed him he was asked to kill him by the evil by civil rogers yeah the hydra cap as a lot of people call him mm -hmm. now as for what he was investigating as far as i know duggan never revealed that at all so you read this you're like okay so deadpool kills phil colson and he also kills the character preston who was the mother of his of his daughter ellie who does become a regular character in the storyline. It's a really good storyline tie into Secret Empire. Nothing really much to do with Secret Empire in here, though, aside from killing Phil Coulson and he killed Preston. Though Preston's death is not really mentioned in his one post because Preston was LMD. Well, she was in the body of LMD after she'd been hanging out in Deadpool's body for a couple of years. Yeah. Now, some of you are thinking, okay... How in the world did Deadpool get with Preston, even though she's kind of overweight? He did it when they went, when he was younger. When they were both much younger, and she was a little bit more thinner. Now she's married, she has another kid. A son. Ellie, of course, is Deadpool's daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I keep thinking, though, what the heck was Phil Coulson investigating? Yeah, this something was really bizarre. Also, the ending of this does set up, well, the ending of, well, the Secret Empire tie-in. That's actually a top, that's actually a follow-up to happened, I think it was just two storylines back. Yeah, it was actually the Patient Zero stuff. Yeah, so this, that, so they, they follow up on something from that point, from, from the Patient Zero stuff, like, okay. Strife, basically, a yeah, pause up in here. He says that Deadpool has to kill, like, Four or five people for him, well, over the course of the Despicable Deadpool storyline, which he kind of does. 
And Despicable Deadpool starts with issue, I think it's 292, it's going to end with issue 300. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, the end of this is like, next, Despicable Deadpool, which I'm looking forward to reading that trade because Despicable Deadpool has been a fun ride to, to see. Seeing Strife again is amazing. Those who don't know who Strife is, Strife is the clone of Cable. Yep, he is the clone of Cable. And he's evil. Oh, and by the way, his original look basically was this big, silver, bulky armor with a helmet. This is what his current look looks like. This is what he looks like now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure who gave him the redesign, but yeah, that's his current look now. And of course that leads into Deadpool's bucket list storyline where he tries to kill people. And the first one on the list is Cable himself. Yeah, and that lasts for about three issues. And I, I can't, and like I said, I can't wait to review that because this book of Deadpool has been pure fun. This was interesting, though he also meets up Maria Hill in here, who runs him over the van and then tries to blow him up with a building. Yeah, still doesn't kill him. Also, he captures various people in here who are very low, very low in the bottom of the topo. Like, what is Speedball? First time I've seen him since since Clone Conspiracy. Yeah, I'm like, okay, last I saw this guy, he was in the hospital, and now he's out. When did this happen? Never explained. They even brought in 3D Man. Wow, that's an obscure character. I haven't seen him since the short-lived Atlas series. That lasted five issues. And I think those issues came out, I think it was back in 2010. Yeah, he originally was known as Triathlon. Mm -hmm. Though he's second person who calls himself 3D Man. Yeah. It's uh, not the original one. It's Dory Gellert. Yeah. He has not been seen in quite some time. Okay, he did also... Like, I kind of remember him in the Mage of Atlas series, the short-lived one. But his last appearance prior to this was during Access, which is about two years. Actually, about three years before the storyline even happened. So, okay, what the heck has he been up to the past three years? Seriously, never explained. But the big one, I was so happy to see this guy because I love this villain. The Trapster! Yep, the Trapster. They mentioned his old Pace Pop Pete nickname. I thought it was so funny. The fact they put this guy in. <laughs> yeah. Such hilarious. Also, they bring up the, um... The Pleasant Hill storyline. Yeah, they bring up that from the Avengers standoff, which was basically your prior to Secret Empire. Yeah, they reference that. But Maria Hill admits that was better than what than what Hydra Cap is doing. Though, of course, they don't reveal, yeah, he's Civil Rogers. But, yeah, that happened in the main book. Which, uh, Deadpool was actually watching on TV where the real Captain America is beating the crap out of Hydra Cap. <laughs> yep. This is awesome. I highly recommend for people who are fans of Deadpool. You would love this. Despite the fact, yeah, he's kind of turned back into a villain. But, yeah, he, he doesn't really say Hail Hydra. It's about he's working for Hydra. Now, as for what exactly was Civil's reason to kill Phil Coulson, as far as I know, it's been over a year and that's never been explained. Maybe Gary Duggan will finally explain that in issue 300. It's a possibility. I hope they bring back Phil Coulson because I love Phil Coulson as a character. Because prior to this, prior to him getting killed off, the last I saw him was in the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. comic book, which got canceled a year prior. Yeah, 
So this was the first appearance we seen with this guy in a year. And the first thing Duncan comes with him is to get him shot and killed. Yep. Though I have heard also that with the Marvel Fresh start for Deadpool is going back to be a mercenary. Yeah. This is awesome. Highly recommend that people are fans of Deadpool. 9.5 out of 10. All right, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode whenever I get a chance to do it. It'll be episode 568, and hopefully it'll be a double shot. It'll be double shot 570. I believe this is... Uh, Yeah, this is 70. Yeah, this is 71. Next will be 72. All right? But until we see you in the next episode, bye.